Jono, I do not feel wonderful. Me neither. But we should be upbeat. Sad, they were wonderful. Ah, oh, well, we're not for me at the moment. Why don't you go, Jono? I keep asking myself the same question. Garth, we were going to lose. <laughs> to beer and breakfast you're very upbeat compared to last week uh, <laughs> match preview show no beer for us this week I'm afraid as we are full of loot and flu also known as Ebola <laughs> racist me <laughs> I can you believe that shit yeah it's salty weren't it try to pick on all it's what happens when six year olds on twitter accounts him Tom Lucky, we trust. Me, 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 me. You trust you back down to championship next season, mate. Trust me. We've been there, we were higher than you. Look what happened to us. Let that be a cautionary tale. Clean your stadium, you loppy bastards. Anyway, I'm Johnny. I'm Jono. And I'm in a very good mood. Are you in a good mood, Jono? Uh, yeah, always. You're in a very good mood, sadly, were you? Listen, I waved you all off thinking, uh, I'll come back with tears. What do we come back with? Well, someone who's bleeding full time whistle with he will FaceTime in there. <laughs> Thought I'd earn a few quid instead of spending a few quid. <laughs> and you miss it! And Luton is a bit of a torrid place. Look, this is what happens when I stay in Luton's ground for the full 90 minutes. Yeah, we miss it, yeah. We came out and three of them stewards uh, that were there last time were there. I just laughed in the face and went, ah, that's for last season, you bastards! You <laughs> just remember what they look like. Yeah. Told you, my memory's a scary thing, kid. <sighs> Never forget. Like I'll never forget the name of that little stupid podcast run by a six-year-old who tried to fuck. Tried to put my LinkedIn profile. I don't even go on LinkedIn. Fucking weird kids, man. <laughs> Ebola Stadium. <laughs> Should we see what we got coming up this week? <laughs> we were away, away, away. Okay, we'll also forget the online fan views. I look at Brighton. Kenneth's Corner. This or that? Predictions for Sunday. And plenty more. Jono, who is this video sponsored by? Glistening Kicks, giving your kicks new life. And of course, the amazing Waverlets, making property easy. Where can you get this as an audio podcast, Jono? Amazon Music, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. He's back on form. Yes. He's back on form, just like United. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting carried away. It's one win, uh, one win that nobody uh, nobody predicted. I predicted it. You did. You did. Call me Mister Johnny. It doesn't matter that I've got eighty percent of me all the predictions wrong this season. I got that one right. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh, we won away, away, away. We won away, away, away. Let's talk about it, Johnny. What did you think of the game? Well, you sounded really well. Did you actually get to watch it? A bit, sorry. Uh... Behind bar. Some very no, uh, not my illegal illegal stream. Somebody else's legal stream that yeah. I saw through their bedroom window. Uh, it kept buffering. Uh, oh. I got a bit fed up. We didn't get fed up. We didn't buffer. <laughs> 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 uh, right. So let's talk about it. We saw the starting lineup and thought the worst. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your even gif was you trying to get off the coach so that you didn't have to watch it. And I stand corrected. Always happy to be wrong. Always happy to be wrong when that. And, you know what? Most people looked at that. Saw Ben Osborne in that side. Weren't just Ben Osborne. It weren't just Ben Osborne. It were just. It seemed like the wrong shape. The wrong. It just seemed very cobbled together. But 
stand corrected. It fucking they worked more as a unit than the team did last week. And all I've heard to be fair is praise for Ben Osborne. Did really well. Match, yeah. Did really well. If he could play like that every week, we'd have a fucking hero on his hands. Yeah. Can he do? <coughs> No, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. that's the point. Consistency is a big thing. Exactly. Um, we'll, we'll talk about individual performances in a bit. I just think that we outfought them. We out. They always sound to say, "Oh, they outlooted us." No, mate. We've been fucking fight like since we got here last time. We did well. It's it's not a looting thing. Every other fucking good team that comes up and does it. It's you're not and, special. And Wilder's not a manager that can get a result at looting. Yeah, I, still <laughs> I love that one. Lovely one as well. <laughs> You know what? No, I, I, I could come up with things like that before the match. No. I quite like I quite like Luton. I've got, I've got I know quite a few of their fans. Right, you were their biggest fan. I still am. I, I, like a couple of fucking little idiots aren't gonna ruin it for me. And now you're not even allowed in Luton. <laughs> I don't want any bowler again. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um I said from the start I, that they're gonna stay up. Uh, no, nothing you. nothing's changed my view on that. I think that what they've got will Cause, and it has caused a lot of problems for a lot of teams small pitch get home results difference for them is they don't quite get it away all the time like we did when we came up and we did well yep. undefeated in London remember that I do remember that but they've got enough about them to stay up and I think I still think they will but on the day they got out for they look like the team that, I, that, that spent millions and I, that like all the footballers. Yeah, I mean, and we look like the battling fucking plucky team from. We um, probably Skyrim. will be the only team to go and sit back a bit against Luton. Yeah, but it worked. They couldn't. Oh, didn't they? It? Couldn't really cope with Archer's pace. Well, they didn't have Bramall Lane. The only thing they cope with was getting two one goals. Exactly. I mean, <coughs> that was so unlucky uh, for them to score two goals in second half. We are having a shot. Was exactly ridiculous. madness. Uh, when I say Archie Gidem shush after that fat bastard yeah, Morris yeah, did to yeah, us yeah. I love that oh you Sheffield United fans all racist they did something to my no we called him a fat cunt remember that yep. what is it every time that Luton play us yeah. they try and claim racism it's almost as if they've got a complex Um, look at the individuals Robbo was an absolute fucking colossus and this is why he should be in the starting lineup every match so somebody we brought in as a backup left back He's fucking not off indeed himself to crowd, has he? Exactly. Jack Robinson, Ali Ali. Jack Robinson, Ali Ali. I still think we'd be better for next season. But uh, <laughs> for right now, um, yeah, he's fucking brilliant. And I love the guy. And he just summed up everything up from crunching. I, I've been a critic of his at times in this season. He's just got better and better and better. I mean, that tackle in front of the United fans. Oh, what a roar. Fucking felt like a goal. Yeah. It was a great challenge. That, team players do that. And hearing that, hearing that, fuck yes, that fucking roar, that right. clap, that shows what we're about as a team. It's battle. And the more he shows battle, the more we're going to endear to him. And dare I say it, it's a bit like a Bob Booker complex. You know, not maybe not the best footballer in the world, but the more you try, the more you give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the more you're going to endear to him. And yeah, we probably do need better reinforcements if we stay up or maybe even if we come up again next season, who knows. But right now, I think former his life, he's playing well. He's getting on well with us, we're getting well with him, and we love him. Hello, Moto. I mean, what was your thoughts on Robbo? Is that another dig? No. Well, for me, he fucking didn't move. Robinson? Yeah, never moved. Just kept spinning, buffering. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in general, obviously. In season. general, from what I've heard and from clips that I have seen, Outstanding again, throwing his body on line. Tackles that he puts in, just a joy to watch. Yeah. Tackles that you don't usually see in Premier League as well. Mm. And that's going to scare a lot of forward running attackers. It's going to scare season. a lot of fat yeah. bastards. That as well. In orange. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> I've seen. Ben Osborne, um, players like that, he gets in team every week. Has he done enough to get into a team? Play like that, yeah. But if he plays like that... Are you starting against Brighton? I don't know. It depends which Ben Osborne will get. If he plays like that, then yeah. Yeah. All I've heard is praise about him. If um, he plays it's like that... Nice, because he's a nice lad. It's just it's that consistency, isn't it's it? It's a rusty Swiss Army knife. There that, you go. It's what he is, is it? Fair plays out of a cracking game. Yeah. If he plays like that, he gets in every week. Problem is, he never has played like that for more than two games in a row. I wouldn't expect him to have a good game against a physical side like Luton as well. He was physical, he was yeah. winning tackles, he was winning balls. The size of him, you'd be very surprised how what? tenacious. Yeah. 
like a little pit bull. Yeah, that's it. It is, and that's Ben Osborne I'd love to see every week. He goes like, oh, I've got no issues with him. But it's... Well, I'm not going to slate him. He's had a fucking brilliant game. Uh, and if he comes out and plays like that against Brighton, happy as fucking Larry. I don't know who Larry is, but I'm happy as you, Larry. Fucking exactly. I, just, I don't see it being consistent. Well, they improve me wrong, because that's what you're there to do. You're there to fucking cement your team, place in team. Go do it. It's only you that can do it. I yeah. can't do it. I'm, I'm just an happy man. Uh, I said last week that when we were predicting how many points we're going to finish that season, I says it all depends on how we do against Luton. Guess what? We won against Luton. Saying that, let's go to fan previews. Hmm, on to Brighton now. Great to get a win last week. Unexpected, though it was. Uh, difficult game, innit? We saw him cut what he can do all right. We weren't full strength and I think we can score against him. It's um, easy to move through us. Didn't like the diving tactics last time we played him. On floor every two minutes. But uh, we have to expect that, don't we? Hope we can have a strong performance. Hope we can take it and get another result. We no expectation it can go anywhere. Just know it's going to be hard. And injuries are racking up again. Bloody hell. Felt for Norrington Davis last week. But uh, God knows what's happened with Matt Burney. Went to Dubai and his wonder treatment lasted about 60 minutes. We miss him and all. Comes in, gives us an option. But we'll see, won't we? Up the blades. I've uh, just realised that I'm actually doing this preview wearing a uh, Sanderberg uh, Norwegian shirt. Who remembers Sanderberg? What were all that about? Anyway, uh, who have we got this week? Brighton at home. Who knows what a win could do? Hopefully, it's um, brought a bit of unity uh, and togetherness and hope and belief to the players after our um, excellent win, excellent result away down at Luton last week. One that I'd written us off. I said 3 1, I think. Um, just got it the wrong way around. But I'm a natural pessimist, so there we go. That said, I'm holding out for a 1 all this week. I think. Hopefully, after the obviously the jet the injection of uh, endorphins from last week's win and a bit of a confidence boost, and also the fact we um, got our well, not so much our fingers burnt against Brighton in the cup, our hand absolutely singed to the point you can only recognise it by its dental records. Away in the uh, obviously not at home in the cup the other month, we'll have learned our lesson and. Um, Hopefully we can tighten it up. It's obviously going to be very difficult. Brighton's still a fantastic team with a lot to play for. Going for that European qualification once again. So three points means a lot to them. Um, I'm going to hold out for a one-all draw. And hopefully uh, Vinny Souza can... Uh, doesn't join us in the boozer because we're not so many goals down. But can work his magic again. And hopefully we can snatch a point or three from somewhere. Still in a good mood. Still 26 points. Still 26. More than that in end, I think. 24, 25, 26, 27. I think this next game, if there is any, any glimpse of a survival chase, it's got to be a win. That brings me to this question. And you know what question has been on this channel, John? Oh, a game off. This or that. This is This or That, a game with a brand spanking shiny new paddle. Ooh, I like it. You don't break when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Hunter the Blade. Has he come caught his prize yet? Not yet. Where are you before we put it on bonfire? Fucking hell. <laughs> Do you know, I will ask you a question, you'll give me either a yes or a no answer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's that simple. The question for this week, Jono, is the looting result, was it a one off? Oh, it was. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. Oh, we can't be really carried away with one against Luton. At the beginning of the season, you look at a game against Luton, that was one that we were going to win anyway. So, I'm not going to get carried away for a win over Luton. Why would you? Like I said, it's going to be a lot depending on this Sunday. If we win on Sunday, and we took a lot from us winning against Luton, fair enough, I'll stand corrected. But I thought this when we beat Wolves. I thought this when we beat Brentford. I thought that's it now. We're going on a charge. Week after, we've probably got back to five. No. So, 
at the moment, no. I was playing Brighton, who's already scored five goals past us at home. So to me, yeah, it's not one that's going to start our season, unfortunately. I can't believe I just did. <laughs> was a Luton result a fluke? No. I knew you were going to say that. We are staying up, say we are staying up. We are staying up, say we are staying up. We are staying up, say we are staying up. Look how fucking well we did. That, that's the fight we all know is there. And if we play like that against a lot of teams, it's going to cause them problems whether they're good or not. Look, we, we pulled back from 2 0 down against Brighton. We fucking we drew at their ground. They're not fucking that magnificent. They're not that fucking special. Yeah, they're a good team. They're a team that has fragilities there to exploit. And I think if we line up in an actual semi-serious formation, actually fight for it, like we did against Lewin, not like in the cup game where in the second half we just kind of thought, nah, fuck it. They scored some long ranges, defending were a bit woeful. I don't see that happening in this game. It's a different game altogether. So I don't see it being a one-off. And I see our charge towards our points tally continuing. Do I think we'll win the game? I don't know. Do I need to readjust my answers from last week? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's me each week and it's a different prediction for each game because it all depends I what's going on. I think it does make this game bigger than what the Luton game were now. Yeah, I do. But not just that, you asked me what we're going to do in certain games week to week and my opinion will change because it all depends what happens with run-up and everything. It all depends suppose, on everything. Yeah. Uh, looking at this Brighton game now, I don't think it will be. The Cup game, everybody seems to think, oh, it's going to be a carbon copy of Cup game. Nah, bullshit. Absolutely not. Cup's Cup. What the fuck do you want with Cup this year? There you go. But at the end of the day, what the fuck do we want cup this year? As priority is maybe sneaking staying up. That that's our priority. Yeah. So anybody who thinks it's gonna be like cup game, sorry, I, I just don't agree. Do not agree at all. Do I think the Luton result was a one off? No, I do not. I think uh, the season starts now. Bloody third, hope you're right. For the third time this season. <laughs> well, <laughs> I say you. I'm hoping you're right. I'd never hear last year if you were. Oh mate, imagine if all my predictions come true from the beginning of the season. Well, no, because you did say like Burnley would get lowest points total ever. Yeah, uh, that's one wrong. But I did say they go down bottom. I still think that'll happen. I know how that we have had a bad season. We have been scrutinised through practically all the season of how bad we are. Why is it nobody saying how bad Burnley are? Right, I know Wilder lost one five nil against Villa, but taking that to count, look at Eckingbottom lost five nil to Burnley, lost eight nil to Newcastle, lost five nil to Arsenal. Those three games are the only reason. Why burn the above us? Yeah. Thanks, Eke. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, how is like a company's job not like online? Is there all this? Because his name's Vincent Company. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted how, how bad they are, but nobody seems to mention it. Vincent Company. That was Sean D. Steicher, whatever the fuck his name is this week. He'd, he'd been fucking under yeah. it. He'd have been I, under the microscope. I think any other manager would have been. Yeah. He'd have been under the microscope getting absolutely fucking bummed. Absolutely. Um, let's have a look at Brighton, shall we? Yeah, I've obviously we're familiarised. We've already played him twice this season. One draw, one loss in the cup, like you just said. Fuck the club. But they started off this season really well. I think uh, their European yeah. probably game has affected their season. It, it, it tends to happen. Away last season. Yeah. First time European outfits happen yeah. to Leicester, happen to a lot of them. It can take a toll on you. Yeah, of course it can. Well, it took a toll on us, but it won't, I think. Well, I wish we'd find out. <laughs> we heard that season, we'd have won it. We'd have won Europe. Get a bit of stats out. Let's get them statistics. Uh, yeah, they're sitting comfortably on uh, in ninth position, 35 points. 43 oh. goals, so they like a good... We like banging in a few. Like goals, don't they? Uh, Gross, probably their best player for me. Really good player. Joe Pedro, top goal scorer. We eight. Gross, we eight assists. Well, that's not a bad assist uh, record, that one, is it? So yeah, the qualities are there. But and Brian usually quite sell their best players anyway, don't they? But they just come up with another magical yeah. player. We spend a lot on scouting. Yeah, and fair play to them. They do. I get some cracking players. What they're doing defensively? Forty. They conceded forty. Yeah. Conceded forty goals. So there's chances there for us to nick a few. Yeah, I said the league goals, score goals. So this is going to be a fully entertaining game. <laughs> It's a strange one, isn't it? Because a bit like Luton, we've seen Luton a few years back. You look at Brian, you think that's winnable. 
Yeah, they've lost a lot away as well. Yeah, but I mean, the, the Brighton of now is not the Brighton we grew up with. Oh, no, no, no. Well, the Brighton we grew up with were non-existent. Exactly. But they're with Dean. Remember that? With Dean. So, Fucking yeah. like Don Valley on crack. Got to set fair placement from where they are yeah. now. I think 100%. Um, they do one of the best kebabs I've ever had in my fucking life as well. Yeah, Brighton kebab. Oh, 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 oh. Take me back. <sighs> Should we football them off and go to Brighton and get a kebab? Yeah, can't we just like go back to your stadium? <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind. We'll play it at your place just so yeah. we can have a kebab again. Um, you know, Brighton's a team to me that, whilst, yeah, there's always a chance of getting a result against Brighton. They are a very good team. They know how to work people. And apart from their fake rival with Crystal Palace, I've got a lot of respect for them. Yeah. And it's not going to be an easy game at all. Team to be respected. Can't go to you thinking that we've got a chance <laughs> just because we've beat Luton. Yeah. Respected and over respecting is like a fine line, though. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got to go out there and crash bang wallop them, I think. I think that's probably the best way to win. Yeah. Crash, like bang, wallop. They're not the physicalist side. They don't think they like yeah. a uh, scrappy game. Don't like it, don't boom. They like a bit of football played, these. So, uh, yeah. I think it would be a scrappy game. Yeah. Speaking of scrappy, let's go and get some views from our scrappy Blades fans. Quick match preview. Uh, just be swimming. <laughs> Fresh stroke. Um, we're all a bit happier, aren't we, after that win um, against Luton? Um, Delighted for everyone who goes every week um, to finally get a win because I genuinely thought we were going to go all season without a win away from home and yeah, really happy, fantastic scenes and uh, I won't say it changes anything long term but we're off the derby mark, it's not quite as embarrassing as it was. Um, I can see he's getting a point on Saturday, Sunday, Sunday isn't it? But then again, um, I think I said that about Villa, uh, so 4 no Brighton. Hey, we won one. Um, but much like the fact that I'm wearing a hoodie over nothing because uh, the young and shat all over my t-shirt, um, it's kind of really just covering over something that no one ever wants to see. You know, not my body, but the rest of the season. Um, it was a good performance, don't get me wrong. Uh, really good, in fact. A proper away performance, weren't it? Sort of made them play. They didn't know how to play. Uh, hit them on the break. We did really, really well. Unfortunately though, we're um, we're at home next game, so we can't really do that. Or we can, we can possibly have a go, but the problem we've got is that Brighton are really good at kicking the ball to each other, aren't they? Which is something we don't seem to know how to cope with. Um, and yeah, we, we only saw it a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? So I can't imagine they've got any shitter since then. They've got potentially a couple of players out, but yeah, they're still really good, aren't they? <clears throat> and um, much I'd like to think, you know, last result's gonna kickstart a great escape. Um, I think what we can hope for more is it's going to kickstart a few better performances. Whether we get one of those against Brighton is another thing. Uh, we might do. We might play better than we have, but they're good, aren't they? So, yeah, I still think we're probably going to lose. Um, so, yeah, you know, maybe maybe just by odd goal in the, in a high scorer, three two, something like that. So yeah, that's optimistic pessimism. Now, Jono, Anal had a decent game. Against Luton, not been sp- yep. not said that in a while. Um, I still don't think he should be skipper. No, Robbo should be skipper. But well, you, you answered the question straight away. There's no point in talking about it now. Then is they fucking it right? Cut next. See you next week. <laughs> well, as well as Robbo, let's have a look at around the pitch and look at leaders we've got there. People who lead like a lot of leaders are missing. Yeah, I mean, where's Baldockios? My captain. My captain. I miss his uh, voice on pitch as yeah. well. Although Bogles seems to have got a different spring in his step under Wilder. He is playing well. Still prefer George. I, I would uh, agree. Uh, but yeah, we are missing a lot of characters on that pitch. Robbo, good shout for a captain. Yep. Definitely think so. If Souza could control his violence sometimes, I'd say Souza is a good example. Yeah, that love relationship now between Souza and the fans is growing. Yeah, and it's not just that. Yeah, he in, always puts his body on line. I just don't think one he's been here long enough and two a bit of immaturity at times yeah uh, he's a bit nonchalant on the ball for me sometimes yeah sometimes he thinks he's got more time than what he has he's in Premier League you don't get time on ball he thinks he's got more time than yeah, what he has yeah. Premier League football is too fast you don't have time on the ball let's go through let's go through some at 11s we'll see if we think they're a leader or not Wes no fuck off um, George 
Yeah, captain for material. Vice captain. Captain. Uh, Bogle, nah, too young. Didn't, just didn't have that in him, I don't no. think. Jack Robbo, of Definitely. course. Trusty? No, he's not going to get a game at the moment. It's also too young. Too young. Too young. Eh, no, I just don't see it. I don't think he's got right mentality at all. Uh, but he had a good game in Luton, so well done. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up, kid. Um, Egan's obviously out. He were our captain. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't agree with Egan being captain. You wouldn't have thought he'd got that shout about him, would you? No. Be? Olgate, who did have a good game against Lewin, very good game, I think. Uh, should it right down your fucking Keiko. Uh, on loan, obviously can't be captain. It was on loan, exactly. Max Lowe, no. LaRouche, no. So, yeah, where's all his leaders in defence? They're in none. Midfield, uh, Norwood, when he plays. I would have thought he were uh, a voice of command. It's very calm, isn't it? Yeah. He screams sometimes, which is good, but he does. I like it. Uh, Souza, no, not quite yet. Could be. Could be. Ben Osborne, no. <sighs> Too quiet. You could say McBurney would be, but... No. He don't play enough. Yeah, that's why. Who else is there in midfield that you could... Slamani don't play enough. Fucking... Aimer. Aimer, no. That's about it. McAtee, no. Too young. Archer, definitely not. Both on loan. Bereton Diaz, no. Loan. McBurney. No, Azula. So it's really, it's, it's Robbo. That's it. <coughs> Definitely. It's just Robbo. That's it. Robbo or George. They're your captains. For me. Don't know. I, Ivo could be come down the line, but we have, we've seen about 10 minutes of him. Fuck's sake, United. <laughs> <laughs> but why are we trying to see who we should be captain? Why are we even having an opinion? Because there's only one man that truly knows who should be the captain. Oh dear. It's time. Kenneth's corner. Don't stop moving, baby. On it, on it, driving crazy. Wiggle, wiggle. Kenneth, who do you think should be skipper? R R R Rob Fanny. Don't I'm ill. Oh, the stuff that you're flying up my Ebola. <laughs> Kenneth strikes again. <laughs> Do you know final thoughts? He's getting his own show soon. He is. I'm, I'm really He's getting his own show. <laughs> oh. Do you know final, final thoughts? <laughs> kick on, Blades. <laughs> let, let the Luton game not be a flash in the pan. Let's kick on it gives us a bit more pride get us off that bottom of the league see where we can go a win against Brighton would be absolutely massive do you think a win against Brighton and it suddenly opens up definitely I think uh, there'll be a lot more better feeling around the place players will believe more it's a massive game this game is a lot bigger now than the Luton game Luton game has obviously made the mark on this game but yeah I'm not saying we're going to stop up even if we beat Brighton but he will probably will be. <laughs> but I am going for a United win. Oh, fuck. Yeah, last time I did that, we lost, but then again, we'll lose. Just, just said we're going to lose. Fuck's sake. Nope. <laughs> we've gone. So what's the score going to be? 2 1 to the Blades. Ooh. See, my final thoughts this game similar. I, I do think that we, we're going to crack on after the blue win result. And I do think that it's going to give us a renowned confidence. I think, fucking hell, we can win games. We scored two against these fuckers and they got five fluky fucking goals. Fuck them. Fuck them. Five fluky goals. Five fluky goals. Just pinging it from anywhere they want. Just <laughs> stuck in, lucky bastards. But I think I, I do think it's going to give them a renowned confidence. And if we see the fight we saw against Luton, there's no reason we can't win this game. And I'm going to go for a rinse and repeat. I'm going to say 3-1 to the mighty fucking Blayards. Blayards! What do you think out there in internet land? Do you agree with all the points we've made? Do you agree with our score predictions or do you think we're going to get absolutely dicked? Let us know down in them comments. We had a lot of good returns and a lot of uh, involvement in the points predictions last week. A lot of people say we're going to get dicked at Luton, etc, etc. Most of you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Love you all. <laughs> um, just grumpy because of my Ebola. Uh, <laughs> but, I don't know. Just get down there and let us know. Do you think that this is a chance to turn the season around and maybe sneak up? Stay in that. Stay in the Premier League and rebuild. Gives us, gives us more pride. Well, pride is all we ask for at this stage. Stay up. Uh, <laughs> let us know down there, and if you haven't done already, 
Please subscribe to the channel. Helps us out a lot. How much it costs to subscribe to the show and view, Jono? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're telling me it's free. It's absolutely free forever. So, so if you press that subscribe button, it's just there. I whistled it. If you press that subscribe button, it's there. And then hit the little bell so you stay tuned with notifications. It don't cost you now. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Guarantee nothing. Well, why the fuck would you then? Click it! Click it now! Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, yeah, and get in the comments and where can you find us as an audio podcast show now? Apple Podcast, yes. Amazon Music, and Spotify. Well done. And we've been sponsored by Glistening Kicks. Even Chris Wilder went to Glistening Kicks. He last did. Week. Man knows his style. Uh, a lad from Glistening Kicks borrowed my Lever shirt that they redid for me. They put the sponsor and the Umbro badge back on it because it was one of those. So it's not just trainers? No, not just trainers. They, they got the Lever because I'd got one of the old lime green ones from yeah. back in the day and all the stuff had come off it. Not one of these fucking retro remakes, the actual one. And they fixed it up for me. And they wore it to a little convention, because I was nice enough to lend it to them. And it just looked banging. Absolutely banging. There you go. Get some Nancy Glistening Kicks, they do everything. And then when you're done that, and you want to sell your house, buy a house, get across to Waverlets, making profit easy. Tom will do you right. John, I'm excited for this game, which usually means something bad. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's nice to be excited for a game. To it be is. Fair. I'm it actually going to this one thinking, oh, we've got a chance here. After last got week. A chance. After last week, maybe we should just be really fucking negative every week. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've been Johnny. I've been Johnny. We'll see you all at Lane. Make some fucking noise, Blades. And remember, it's na 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 na. Ooh! No, sorry. Not na 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 no. Sing it fucking right. Other Blades! Come on!